The presidential spoiler of George H.W. Bush's second term and the man that gave us Bill Clinton for eight wonderful years is not endorsing either Mitt Romney or Barack Obama this time around in election 2012. Instead, Ross Perot, the Texas billionaire, is saying that with our impending economic collapse in 2012 or soon thereafter, we could be taken over, folks. We could be taken over. Yes, that's right. Ross Perot says that because of neither party's ability to do anything meaningful to reduce our out-of-control debt, we could lose our country. In an interview with um, C-SPAN, Perot said that, quote, we're on the edge of the cliff and we have got to start fixing it now, otherwise we're leaving a disaster to our children's and our grandchildren's future. Unfortunately, several politicians have been saying that for some time now, but because either they aren't bold enough to keep saying it, because of course you do have to drill some of these things into quite dense heads in Congress, or not enough other politicians will get behind those sounding the alarm. It is astounding that although both Romney and Obama are not saying and doing enough, at least Romney and Ryan are asking us to look at stark realities and they're getting ripped to shreds by the U.S. mainstream media. And what is even more astounding is that Romney and Ryan are being accused of wanting to take away Medicare and Social Security from seniors, but even what they are being accused of, even what they're being accused of proposing still isn't enough to really solve the problem. Now while we really don't owe enough money for to any one foreign entity to have them come and take us over and re rewrite the Constitution, both China and Japan could cause quite serious havoc if they decided to call in all of their loans at the same time. Of the 16 trillion dollars in debt that we are in the hole for, we owe about 1.16 trillion to China and 1.12 trillion to Japan for a combined total of 2.29 trillion dollars to both countries which is about 200 billion dollars short get this 200 billion dollars short of the total revenue we collect in taxes every year then with the added 1.32 trillion dollars we plan to spend over our revenue you can see that, you know what, we will never be able to pay off this debt. And if China or Japan said either give us the money you owe us or give us property or capital equivalent, which would essentially mean we would have to voluntarily give away real estate, printed money, or ownership of other entities, we'd be in serious trouble if they, if they wanted that to happen. And if we gave away the worthless paper money that we just printed up, you know, it would trash the dollar but neither country would want that money in the first place. You know, it sounds like we had really better get our debt under control, but honestly, no one is really talking about the very difficult things that need to be done to accomplish that in the first place. So hold on, because economic collapse is coming. All right, check out a couple articles I've linked to right here on Politico where Ross Perot says he's not endorsing either candidate and he goes into the reasons and the fear that he has that we actually could lose our country. And then over here at Fox News, you can check out this article on the U.S. debt top 16 trillion. So who do we owe most of that money to? That'll tell you obviously, just like the title says, who we owe the money to, Japan, China, and a bunch of other foreign entities. Well, we also the, we also owe it to the Federal Reserve, so we just actually owe our debt to ourselves. That doesn't sound good. Anyway, leave your thoughts, leave your comments in the comment section below this video, and I look forward to hearing what you have to say.